Hello everybody, Tate Davis here with uh, another uh, album ranking video for you. Um, like I said before, I do not have the physical CDs or vinyl that I normally like to uh, show you while I'm talking about the albums in question, but hey, it is what it is. I don't have enough room here in my room down here in uh, my new house in Murfreesboro, so. <laughs> uh, so just bear with me here if you could. So, the band that I am going to rank the albums today is a very influential power pop band called Stars. Um, these guys formed out of the ashes of a band called The Looking Glass, which had a number one hit in 1972 with a song called Brandy or Fine Girl. Um, and the, the lead singer of that band, Elliot Laurie, left and... The other members were sort of unsure of whether to continue or not. They ended up getting a uh, um, uh, a guy named Michael Lee Smith on lead vocals, um, and a guy named uh, uh, Brendan Harkin on guitar and Richie Rano on guitar, um, and some more lineup changes. Their keyboard player got fired, and they brought in a, another guy, um, and eventually they changed them. They changed the name of their band to Fallen Angels, and then eventually to Stars. That's S-T-A-R-Z. And they got a deal with Capitol Records, only ended up releasing four albums, um, and broke up uh, due to uh, not very much commercial success. Um, they had a, uh, a mid-sized hit off their, uh, um, what is it, Violation album from, is it Violation? Yeah, it is Violation from uh, 1977 called Cherry Baby, which is uh, which was a pretty big hit for them. It kind of, I think it peaked like in the 50 or so on the Billboard Hot 100. Um, but uh, unfortunately, yeah, they, they broke up in 1979 not having uh, a ton of commercial success, but they proved to be very influential on a lot of uh, 80s hard rock bands in the um, 80s kind of like glam metal scene that was kind of out, coming out of L.A., I personally think that if Stars had started a few years later and were active into the excuse me active into the eighties, they would have they would have been huge. Um, and if I were to describe their music, think of a more harder rocking cheap trick. It's probably the best way to describe them. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna rank those four albums for you now. So coming in coming in at number four. Um, and I should preface this by saying, but by saying that this was very hard for me to do because I like all four albums quite a bit, and um, there's not really much separating these. Uh, and I, the stars have never released a bad album in my opinion, so all of these are great albums. It's just it was just a matter of uh, finding out, going back and listening to them again, and and finding out. What, and really sort of sitting and wondering which ones mean a little bit more than the other t in, in the eyes of me. So, coming in at number four is their 1978 album, uh, their third album, Attention Shoppers. Now, Attention Shoppers is a very slick, very commercial sounding, very poppy album. But that is not a bad thing because um, very, very well-written pop songs on that album. Um, X Respects is on it, which is a very, very cool tune. Uh, um, and, you know, just very, very great uh, pop, power pop rock with a slight metallic edge to it. Um, and actually, the album that I would recommend anyone wanting to get into the band for the first time to start with because it's their most accessible album. So, coming in at number four is Attention Shoppers from 1978. Another tune, or another album from 1978 coming in at number three is their fourth album called Coliseum Rock. Brendan Harkin and I think their bass player uh, left uh, for this album because they kind of disagreed with the direction that the band was going to go after that album after the Attention Shoppers album. So they got two new guys in there and they release it. And it's sort of a mix of the harder rocking uh, s material that was on their, that was on Stars' first two albums and sort of the slick 
commercial direction of attention shoppers. And I think that's very, I think they, they meet in the middle and they do it very well there. Um, the title track into, uh, why can I, for the life of me, think of the song name. Uh, the one, two punch there towards the end of the album with the title track is very good. Um, and, uh, just overall, just a very well, uh, constructed, uh, pop, power pop album that sort of sees the two, uh, ends of the spectrum of the star's sound meet into a happy medium. So at number three, Coliseum Rock from 1978, their final album. So coming in at number two is the uh, debut album from 1976 called Stars. Um, for a lot of people, a lot of uh, for a lot of Stars fans, they consider this to be their best album, and I can totally see why. I mean, when you have Detroit Girls, Live Wire, Pull the Plug, Monkey Business, uh, Pull the Plug is one of my favorite Stars songs of all time. Um, just a very very strong debut album debut power pop album that's very metallic and very heavy um some incredible guitar work by Richie Rano um Michael Lee Michael Lee Smith's vocals are just off the charts great um I cannot say enough good about uh Stars' debut but with that being said coming in at number one is Violation from 1977 uh and for me, Cherry Baby is a very, very well-constructed pop song, and it had every reason to be a hit. It should have been a bigger hit than um, how far up the Billboard Hot 100 that it got, but a very, very strong pop song with some great vocals by Michael Lee Smith. Uh, a very catchy chorus. Um, another, the title track... Violation is awesome. Um, just overall, a very, maybe a little bit, a teensy bit more accessible than the, than, uh, the songs of their debut album, but just a very strong, very strong uh, um, sophomore album from Stars. And the reason why I don't put the debut at number one is because of Cherry Baby. I really like that song. <laughs> so... Sometimes it's just a matter of one song that separates the number one and two positions of a ranking or, you know, any number, any, uh, um, uh, position within a ranking. So overall, a very, very great power pop band, a very influential power pop band. Stars, one of the most underrated bands of the 70s. Um, if you like Cheap Trick, you're going to love them. Go check it out. Start with Attention Shoppers from 1978. It's their most accessible album, but um, a very great band. So with that being said, thank you guys very much for watching, and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.